We have a patient who had a hip replacement done at a different facility by different doctors over the summer. He came to us because he's developed problems in the opposite hip, but also the hip replacement that was done in the past was not working. He was unstable and causing pain. So his imaging studies and his examinations suggested that there was failure of the implant. So we brought him into the operating room and did a hip aspiration under x-ray guidance, that's called fluoroscopy, and drew fluid out of his hip to make sure he didn't have an infection, but also to look for other problems. And what we found was the fluid that we drew out of his hip joint um, looks like uh, metal debris. And so there appears to be a problem where the metal of his implant has deteriorated enough to pay up debris in the joint. So we know this patient will need a revision and now we're going to be able to plan for it so that over the summer he will be able to have this fixed and should be done. That is what happens when you have an, uh, an implant that is, you know, maybe, that's like metal rubbing against plastic. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe uh, polyethylene wear. But, yeah, but also, but that's got metal, that's going to have metal debris in it. Yeah, metal. So today I taught them how to do the procedure in a way that's it's quite fast. It does not require anesthetic to the patient, and it avoids the potential complications of vessel or nerve damage. So it's a, it's a very simple way to do a hip aspiration through what's called an antero, anterior lateral approach. You, with the patient lying on their side using an x-ray machine to show the three-dimensionality of the hip joint space. And so uh, they were happy to see it done. We were happy to teach it. It's faster, it's easier, uh, and it's easy for the doctors, easier for the patients. It's a very safe procedure when done this way. If you do it using where he's lying down, you yeah. have to worry about the femoral artery and the femoral nerve. nerve. The whole canal. Yeah. Oh, that whole area. And when you give them lidocaine, or lidocaine or whatever. That can go into that and around cause the nerve. major issues. Well, if they can go around the nerve and they get femoral nerve paralysis for a few hours, and they can't walk and they get scared and it goes away, but it scares everybody. Yeah. This way you, there's, no, there's no problem. Okay. You did good. Very good.